Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Okay, morning, afternoon, evening, everybody, depending when it is. Um, it's uh, about 7.30 here in the evening, Monday, June the 3rd. Um, I just got here, got set up, done a bit of zero in, using the 2-2 impact tonight, back on the rabbits. There's um, a row of warrens along this bank of nettles I've just got here there's probably about 20 rabbits just dived inside um, but it backs onto a golf driving range and the owners asked me to try and keep the numbers down so what I'm going to do is take some of these along here for now hopefully and uh, later on I'm going to move down to the driving range um, there's a bunker and some bits um, where they've been digging so uh, hopefully try and bring the numbers down okay let's see how we get on see you soon yes that really is me more uh, Mansfield pit than Brad pit but there we go now because I'm in the middle of a grassy field I've decided to lay next to the car to give me a bit of cover uh, so I'm not stood out like a sore thumb on the horizon. It doesn't take long, about 20 minutes for the first rabbit to come out. I pinged him at 48 yards, which is nearly on the limit of where I want to take it, 50 at the most. But there's no wind at all, so it's a nice straightforward shot. No problem with the impact of the Hades. So it doesn't take long, about another 20 minutes and there's one out, another straightforward shot 39 yards, starting to turn into quite a productive evening already. Now this one, 32 yards missed I must have just pulled that you can see it just whizzed past to the right but there's already another one out so I'm just waiting for it to settle nicely I just think about I've got it right and it starts to faff about with the nettles so I'm just waiting for it to turn its head back sideways which it does obligingly it sits there nice and still and take him dead straight forward for for the impact at 32 yards. So a bit later on, seems to be every 20 minutes, this little guy comes trundling around the corner. Ping dim is at 56 yards, which is too far. So now he's jogging around. That's why the gun's wavering around and not actually looking at him because I've got the rangefinder in my right hand, trying to lean up on my elbow. And uh, ping dim is at 50 yards. So he's getting a bit closer. So I know if I leave him a bit longer, he'll come running in, which he does. So the closer he gets, the better, obviously. So now I'm pointing it at the grass, five yards in front of me like an idiot. So it turns out he's at 34 yards, which is a nice, comfortable distance. So I'll take him. And while I've been faffing around, there's another one come out about the same distance away. So I don't have to ping that, just take it. The younger one. Bit of a bounce, but he's out of it. Okay, the next one. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Just give him a haircut, but he comes back later on. 
starting to skip around. I don't know why, well I didn't know at the time why he was faffing about, but he's another rabbit. So he just ducks as I pull the trigger. You see the fur fly? Just give him a reverse Mohican. But I notice another one over to the left. You seen that one just then? There's one there. He's at 30 yards, that's why I'm giving it a bit of hold under. Because it's zeroed at 34. And he's, the other guy's come running back in now to the right. So we'll switch over to him in a second. Make sure he's out. He's down. Oh, he's come trotting back in. There he is. Just about to take the shot. He just won't quite hold. And his attention's drawn by another one on the left. So I'm just hoping that I can take him without spooking the other one too much. You notice there was another one flashed in the uh, nettles behind as well there. So he's down. And the other one makes a mistake of lingering. We'll take that one as well. That's not too bad. So I'll sit there for a bit longer. It's quarter to nine now. And after about 45 minutes, nothing comes out. So I'll decide to move down to where the bunker is, which you'll see in a minute. Have a quick film while I'm picking the rabbits up showing you the damage they've been doing in this bank. It looks like butlins for hobbits here. Holes everywhere. So because it went quiet, I thought I'll have a go down to the bunker now, leave this bit for a second, or for a while. Um, so I picked them up. That's eight. Collected. And as you can see in the next clip, I went down to the bunker, got the camera out, did a bit of filming, ready for you lot to see what I'm shooting at, and showing you the holes they've been digging around this bunker, practice bunker. It's becoming almost too dangerous to walk around there because of the size of the holes everywhere. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit of a man trap, as you can see. I was very weary treading around it. There's holes everywhere. Um, I mean, even that one there, is, you can see, has got um, bricks propped under it just to support it. I was expecting to sink up to my waist at any second. But uh, it turns out that I was sat there for about an hour and a half and not one rabbit came out. They clearly weren't reading the plan. So I walked back up to where the car was to call it a night, 20 to 11. And I thought I'll have a quick look back down that bank where I've just been shooting earlier. And what do I see? Eyes everywhere. Bloody dozens of them. So I thought I can't, I can't leave without taking at least the one. I mean, I'd have loved to have stayed there all night, but I was having to get up for work at quarter, quarter to six the next morning. So I ping that one 48 yards. Quick zoom in. And now I've done the schoolboy error of putting the infrared lamp on the left hand side of my scope, not the right. So I'm reaching round with my left hand while I'm on the bipod to do the focus on the scope and blocking the infrared lamp. So he's at 48. Take him. Just watch these eyes run. Look at them go. Bloody loads of them. So I should have stayed where I was. Because that's the field where the car was parked earlier. But there's clearly unfinished business there. So that'll be for another video. That's not bad. Nine for the evening. I'll take that any day. So I'll return. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe and share. Thank you. See you next time.